Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Gateway Laptop. This one is a Gateway GWTN156-4GR and that information can be found on the bottom of the laptop. You can flip it over and you will see it right there. It will tell you model number which is a GWTN156-4GR. 156 that means the screen size is a 15.6 inch so that's what it's trying to refer to yours might be 14 so that means you have the 14 inch version and in this video i'm going to go over how you can replace the battery or remove the batteries for these models this applies for any gwtn series again it's really simple to do it you can do this at home it's really safe and easy to do it tools that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set I'll suggest you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver sets as they are one of the best screwdriver bits out there. We're going to be using a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro version or pro set, you get an opening tool, tweezers, and a few other stuff. If not, just grab yourself a guitar pick as I do. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With these two on hand, we can get it started. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely and you want to flip it upside down and on the bottom cover, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. You're going to remove everything. There's two types of screw sets in here, long ones and the short ones. There's only two long screws, one on each corner on the back end, the one right here and the one right over there. You're going to go ahead and remove these two first and keep them in one pile so you don't mismatch them with the other ones. So keep those two in one pile. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the rest of the screws, including the one in the middle, the one on the two on the cover, two on the cover, starting from one corner. If you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys to do your own upgrade or services, you can support the channel and support me by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. Helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your comments. Now, you can either leave this cover or just take it out or leave it in there. Doesn't matter, sometimes it just falls off. I forgot one right over here. Now, once you remove the screws, all you need to do is to open up the laptop a little bit and you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover right in there. Okay? Now, all you need to do is to just twist it and you want to hit that big click. And you want to do all around in the front end and the same thing you want to do it on the sides starting from one corner let me see it's gonna focus you should there we go so i'm gonna go all the way to the back corner right there and left and right side both side go ahead and do it and there we have it now we can close the laptop and we're going to do the same thing on the back end. Right at the grill right there. We're going to twist. And in there. Now all you need to do is just lift up the bottom case and from the front end and wiggle it around and it should release itself. Alright. Now down here you can see the whole big battery. This is a no brand battery. It has a brand model name. If you want, I will leave the link for this model name. I'll try to find one seller. This is 11.4 volt, 5200 milliamp hour battery, 59.28 watt hour. Max voltage 13.05. The model name is NV-54-9067-3S. And to remove the battery, all you need to do is to remove the screws that are touching here. The one, two three, four, five screws. Go ahead and remove these five screws. All right, once you remove the screws, right now it's going to be easier to disconnect it. There's a Wi-Fi cable just tangled around here, so untangle the Wi-Fi cable here, the gray one and the black one right there. Once you untangle this one, you can go ahead and lift it up. Now, if you're replacing the battery, just pull the cables back and it will release itself from the jack. There you go. You don't, or you can put your fingernails right at the back and pull it if you don't want to pull on the, on the cables, but the cables are really tough and it will not damage it. Just pull it out. 
So there's your battery. There's actually one, two, three cell batteries in there. And you can see three cables, three red and three black cables, one for each cell. Let's say that you got the new battery in. Before you put it in place, incorrectly, first put it in, a, in an angle. Make sure the positive, which is the red, is facing the uh, fan right there. So you don't want to put it the other way around, otherwise you're going to make it short. The red has to be on top. Slide it in evenly. Make sure you put it in evenly. Don't go sideways. Evenly in and push it all the way towards the jack. Once you have it in there, now you want to align the screw holes. Put it right on top and snuggle right in there the connector. Now you're gonna put the rest of the screws right on top. I'm gonna to give you a tip on how you're supposed to do your first charge and discharge the proper way. If you want your battery to last you a little bit longer. Let's say you got the new battery in there. What you wanna do first, you don't wanna power on the laptop at all. All you need to do, make sure it's off. And you wanna connect the charger and leave it charging for at least five to six hours in an off state. Again, don't forget to tangle back down the cables. So pretty much I'm zigzagging it right there. And there we have it. All right. So you want to leave it in off state and charge it for five to six hours. After that, you want to power on and remove the charger and Discharge it slowly, don't put any games or anything. Discharge it slowly within two to three hours. Once it's discharged completely, power it off, leave it connecting on the charger for at least five to six hours again. And after that, you can turn it on as you wish, use it the way you want it. All right, to put the bottom cover, make sure the audio jack side here has to be scooped right in here. So you want to scoop it right down there. Make sure it goes right in and push it down. And you want to hear a click and just work yourself and push the other side down and you hit those tiny clicks. Now all you need to do is to open up the laptop and pinch the bottom and top case together to hear those clicks. To the sides, go to the back corner, make sure everything is nicely snapped in place. And the last thing down here would be to put the bottom cover and put the screws back on top. And remember the two long screws goes one on each corner at the back by the hinges. And the short one just slapped it down on the bottom anywhere that you can see a screw hole. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you want to support the channel, click that like and subscribe. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws. And there we have it.